views tonight trying something a little bit different so tonight i'm going to talk about a um usb microphone and also uh the crisp ai software um at a high level what i'm going to do is i'll just talk about what it is the price point um my experience with it pros cons and whether or not i recommend it the plan is uh, to kind of do these on Twitch, and then I'll probably post these up to YouTube. So let's get let's get right into it. The first thing I'm gonna go over is the uh, it's a USB gaming condenser microphone from XIIVIO. That's the brand name. So I have it in front of me. Uh, I know the this camera quality isn't the best, but I will just kind of quickly show it to you. So what does it come with? You get the microphone. The cable is uh, built on, on the mic side. It's not detachable. And at the end, is this your typical USB, uh, USB-A, I think this is called? I'm not sure about that actually. It's just your normal USB port. It's like a USB 2 or USB 3. I'm not sure. So other than the mic, you get a kind of like a a simple shock mount that has a pop filter attached to it. And in the in the product description actually, it says that the pop filter is removable, which it is, uh, which I'll show you quickly what they mean. The screen thing is removable, but you see how this on the uh, kind of like the little shock mount, um, this bendy thing does not come off of this little uh, uh, shock mount piece. So this um, this mount comes with the uh, a tripod, which uh, works okay. And on the bottom of this um, shock mount, there's a. It comes with a standard. Jeez. Um, uh, let me try to see if I can quickly. I'm on the Amazon page right now. Let me see if I can see uh, what the size is on this. I'm not seeing it right now, but it's this. It's the standard size. It's a pretty. It's it's the standard size. Um, I ha I got a what is it? I got this arm for the mic, and uh, this thing is able to sc screw into that. It's like some standard size, so it works okay. Um, and kind of has what you need to to get started. So that's kind of what it is. Um, the price currently it's let me take a quick look. Thirty-five ninety-nine on Amazon, or and that's in USD. Um, the title is USB Gaming Condenser Microphone XIIVIO Plug and Play Computer PC Microphone Mic with Tripod Stand and Pop Filter for Mac, Windows, Recording, Voice Over, Streaming, Twitch, Podcasting, YouTube. Um, that's the price. My experience with it. Uh, first off, I'm no recording microphone expert um i don't that's not what i do for work i don't have any professional training in it i basically i got this mic um in sometime in july or august and i used it for a solid at least like a three and a half months or so um the reason i got it is uh due to my desk setup i got a external a separate webcam and the i felt like the laptop microphone was a little far so i thought i'd get this like separate external mic maybe it'll pick up the sound better um so uh, definitely no expert at this um and just kind of uh uh been using it for three and a half months um for work um 
for personal use and also it was the first mic i used for uh when i started twitch i would say on an average week i used it probably two hours a day so i had a good amount of experience with it um so let's let's talk about the the pros pros price is pretty good 35 dollars a uh, good starting point felt like it was a a good way to kind of it was a, a, a good basic starting mic um it's nice that it came with the pop filter and the shock mount and the um the little tripod base uh one thing i forgot to grab actually is that the uh, along with the pipe filter the mic also came with the foam i believe it's called a windscreen so that was kind of nice um also kind of nice is that it's it's all black so depending on your setup maybe it, it could blend in pretty well next next thing i want to get into are the cons so i think what i'll do is we can start we can do it kind of piece by piece uh, first, starting with the tripod, if you use it with the tripod, mm, the tripod is very basic. I mean, you you I, I you can probably I use it with uh, the kind of the legs like all the way splayed out. I don't know what the right term is for that. You can probably have it you can probably have it higher by kind of putting the legs more closer together, but it didn't feel too stable um when it wasn't completely like splayed out other than that i gotta feel like this tripod is actually pretty solid so tripod not bad uh next I'm gonna, i want to quickly have some thoughts about the shock mount so it's the fact that this wire thing is attached to the this little cage piece is very annoying if you don't want the pop filter if you use the pop filter it's great secondly the shock mount itself you can see that there's these uh what are these wires they're not it's the wire isn't the right word but the microphone keeps slipping out of this little this this, this little assembly so you kind of have to keep putting it in and because of the way the mic is, it doesn't stay in very well. And also, it might not show up too well on the camera, but you see there's a joint here. And you can tighten it with the, what's the right term for this? You can tighten it with a flat and a Phillips. But it's actually really annoying that you need to use a tool at all to tighten it and loosen it. You can't really kind of do it on the go. I think that's all I have to say about the uh, shock mount. The, the actual pop filter screen, I, I don't have too many, too much to say about that um, in terms of cons. Um, the, the actually, the, going back to this, the bendy arm, it's not that, it's, it's actually not that, I wish it was maybe just a little bit longer. When you have the mic on with it, it, it doesn't, it's not as adjustable as you would like it to be. All right, so, to the actual uh, microphone uh, unit itself. The cable is nice and long, which that's definitely goes into the pros, but this thing doesn't have any, you can't adjust it at all. There's no knobs on it. You, just, you can't control the gain. Uh, you can't mute it. Um, the most you can do with it is, so I'm, I'm using a MacBook Pro and obviously you can go into the um sound settings go into your input select the mic and you can turn the input input uh volume up and down that's one way you can adjust the sound volume and you can if depending on the software you're using you can put some kind of gain filter on it but with the with with the with you only using the mac os uh input volume slider all the way up using that this thing how do you say is is too quiet maybe maybe i so i do mumble a bit 
I could definitely enunciate a little better. Um, but I had to kind of use software to turn up the gain on this so that kind of my voice would come through at least loudly enough. So what, what, what is my problem with it? It's not, maybe it's not sensitive enough. Basically, you're not coming through that loud. Um, so I think that's that's all I have to say with the the cons uh, in terms of trying to get my volume up. I uh, what I did is actually remove the windscreen on it. Maybe I thought I thought maybe it might help a little bit, not 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 too much. Um, and uh, I actually I'll give it some time, but I, I I got a blue Yeti recently, and um, I have the hardware gain knob at about 50%. And in my Mac OS settings, I have the input volume at about, it's something like 80%. And I feel like it's picking up the sound much better. I don't know if it's more clear. Um, I'm gonna kind of have to do a little more testing with that. So for the mic, the last thing I wanna, wanna, wanna talk, wanna mention is uh, recommend it. Do I recommend it or not? Um, as a MacBook Pro user, I would not recommend this for the $35. Um, because I felt like the Mac laptop, even if it wasn't as clear, uh, volume wise, it, it seemed to pick up my voice much better. Um, I have it about it's an arms, I'm sticking my arm, it's an arm's length away from me and it, it was picking up the sound maybe better than when I had the microphone about two inches from my mouth. Um, uh, if, if you're, maybe if you don't have a mic at all and you kind of want to just get a starting one, it could be a good buy. Good buy. Ha ha ha. I'm saying bye to the mic. So... Yeah, I, I do not recommend it. That's it. I can't think of anything else to say about the mic.